So this is Pam, this is her fourth rhinoplasty. Now here's the issue. Pam has a rib graft in here, but she's had a lot of filler in her nose and that actually has damaged her skin. So our goal is to either one, use the rib that's there and build on top of it dice cartilage glue grafts to give her this. At the same point, we wanna bring out what we call the columella right at the base of the nose which will give her a nicer angle. This is full of dice cartilage glue grafts, infra tip, columella, and plumping grafts. That would be our goal. So I feel with the combination of multiple surgeries, interruption of the blood supply, and all the fillers, it's damaged her skin, so it's stressed. And my goal would be to try to rebuild her nose through a closed approach. If I feel there's too much scar, we're gonna go ahead and open the nose. And we are gonna have some nano fat, and what nano fat is, taking multipotent stromal cells and we're gonna inject into her skin. That should help with the, uh, let's say, decrease the risk of ischemia to the skin. And it's great for the skin texture and for the health of the skin. So this is more of a computer morphing. We brought down the nostrils. We're trying to make the, uh, the nasal tip smaller and with any projection, we'll be able to do that. Now, we are using cadaver rib today because we got a CT scan, and the CT scan showed significant calcified cartilage, which means it's like bone, it's not usable. So Dr. Salehi is over there chopping up some of the rib to make a dice cartilage glue graft, and we're gonna start surgery now and see if we have to do this open, or can we stay closed? So we had the cadaver rib, which these are some pieces here. We cut off, these are called rim grafts, so we're, we're gonna carve them a little more. We take a little extra in case we need more grafts. The remaining cartilage we diced up is very small. It's kind of like um, uh, what we say, like minced garlic, in terms of how fine it is. This allows you to combine it with this. This is fibrin glue. It's a very safe uh, blood product that we use. It's first documented use of it in the literature is in the 1950s. Um, you combine it with this diced cartilage that I just showed you, and that's what's happening in here in this mold. So you put the fibrin down, then the cartilage, and you just keep doing this until you build a mold. And in a second, once it's all built up, I'm gonna take this mold off around it and we'll have a very nice, what we call a dorsal onlay graft that can go on top of the nasal dorsum, the bridge. Uh, we're gonna have to take it off this mold here. This is it. So we just finished the augmentation. We have cartilage here, cartilage here, cartilage there, and cartilage there. We're gonna put just a little bit of more nano fat in the columella area. 